Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at a Royal Saudi uh, Air Force uniform. Um, so first things first, looking at this uniform, what you're going to notice is the camel pattern. And uh, if you look closely, you can see it's kind of like a UCP Desert Marpat MM14 style um, desert digital camouflage. And it's coming on my phone a little darker than it actually is. So it's not actually this dark. Like these brown parts are actually not that brown in person. They're a little lighter. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, watching the video. So I think this is a pretty cool example because of how relatively complete the uniform is. I mean, it has the uh, epaulets, the, you know, rank tabs, and we actually have the Royal Saudi Air Force uh, Velcro. So that's actually pretty unique. You know, we don't have the name, name Velcro or this, you know, little patch or even the shoulder patch, but I think that's still pretty cool. Um, so let's get into it. Looking at the overall build, it's kind of a standard four pocket, you know, BDU style uniform. What's interesting is these pockets are actually pleated. And um, yeah, so these pockets are actually Velcro. So if we open them up, it's kind of loud. But yeah, you got Velcro pockets. You take a look inside. And yeah, you can see the stitching is kind of, you know, coming undone a little bit. So I got these Velcro pockets pleated. It's pretty cool. What's interesting is that they decided to go with all Velcro pockets. This is also Velcro as well. But they didn't go with like a zip up or anything. They went with a standard button, button up you know, jacket. So we got regular buttons to button it up. And these top pockets are actually a lot smaller. And you can see that it can also fit our hand in there, kind of. I don't know exactly what they'd be carrying. I don't know if this was like a ground crewman. I don't know the exact details of who would have worn this, except, you know, it's Saudi Arabian. It's pretty cool. I don't have too many, you know, Middle Eastern, you know, camos in my collection, so this is a pretty cool one. Again, we got that other pocket, Velcro. It's kind of um, hard to open it up when you're holding your phone in one hand, but it makes a lot of noise, like you can hear this, to open it up. So not the stealthiest for sure. So yeah, we got these buttons here. Let's take a look at the inside of the uniform. So one of the things you notice right off the bat is there's not really a tag or any sort of identification to see when this uniform was made, who made it, no contract or anything like that. Uh, the only marking that I do see on this uniform is this like Sharpie mark that says like S in red. So that's really the only thing we have to go off. And I think, you know, trying this uniform on and measuring it pit to pit, it's kind of like a medium, US medium, um, kind of long. And so we can see, you know, the material is like ripstop. It's not super thick. I don't know the exact blend of this. But yeah, we do got that ripstop pattern. Oh, you know what I did find right now? I just found a Sharpie marking. I don't. I have no idea what that says. Maybe someone else can identify it. <clears throat> so let's go up more towards the uh, collar. We can see that we have these cool shoulder tab epaulets things and I haven't removed them I'm just going to keep them on but we got the writing there and you can just button and unbutton them however you think it's a button but it turns out it's actually velcro so you can just I don't know what this button is here for you can literally just slide this off and velcro it I didn't even know that I hadn't even explored this uniform that much yeah so we got like a shoulder it's like a pen pocket. This is for like pens. You can't really fit any like other thing in here. Got the shoulders. Let's take a closer look at the camel pattern. And for our wrists, we can have two buttons to tighten it if we want to. And that's gonna be pretty much the same with the other side as well, except on this side, there's no pocket holder, unfortunately. And the same thing, we got these two buttons, so. If we wanted to, we could uh, tighten it 
and you can see like some of the stitching on the inside you know it's a very very cool uh, uniform and i'm gonna flip it over i mean just to see the back not really like anything to see really <clears throat> except for these two buttons on the back where we can tighten it up if we wish so as you can see we've got you know one on each side so you know these are pretty standard on a lot of uniforms and we'll flip it back over and take one final look at it <clears throat> so yeah here you have a royal Saudi Air Force uniform, and I'll talk a little bit about how I got it. Not really much to say other than I bought it on eBay. But yeah, I mean, you can get some good stuff on eBay if you look around. I think this cost me around $30 with shipping included, which I'd say is pretty worth it for something like this. I mean, it's not impossible to find, you know, Saudi uniforms in this camel pattern. But a lot of the time, those are sellers from like Thailand or Vietnam, and they're charging like $40 shipping. You know, so that's what you got to keep in mind. If you can get this from a U.S. seller, I'd definitely say pick it up. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, leave a like. If you have something to add or corrections to make, feel free to correct me. Uh, thank you for watching this video.